Today, a former Nazi went on trial charged with 300,000 counts of accessory to murder. German prosecutors are pursuing more than a dozen aging Nazis under a new legal theory that death camp workers can be held accountable for the Holocaust even if they didn't murder anyone with their own hands. Mark Phillips is covering the trial. Oscar Gruning now, a frail 93-year-old man with a dark past. Oscar Gruning then, a member of the Waffen-SS, the most Nazi of the Nazis, stationed at Auschwitz. Hetty Bohm now, here on the right, an 86-year-old grandmother. Hetty Bohm then, a teenager deported to Auschwitz with more than 400,000 other Hungarian Jews, where the vast majority, including both her parents, were murdered. Oskar Gruning says he didn't directly kill anybody, that he was just a cog in the Nazi murder machine. But without cogs, machines don't run. Hetty Bohm will testify against him. I cried after my mom, and she heard me. The family were separated as the train carrying them and thousands of others arrived at Auschwitz. We just looked at each other, and she didn't say a word. Then I saw her turn and walk away. I didn't know at the time that that was the road that led to the crematoriums, to the gas chambers. Oscar Gruning's job was to collect the victim's valuables. He was the bookkeeper of death, the Auschwitz accountant. He pleaded to the court that while he was morally guilty, he was not legally guilty. And in all the German war crimes trials until now, Gruning's argument is right. Even for the Nazi brass, like Hermann Goring at Nuremberg, direct proof was required. But Oskar Gruning's trial is different. For the first time, complicity in aiding the murder machine may be enough. Hetty Bohm was in court and listened to Gruning's plea. So Oscar Grunig says he accepts a measure of moral guilt, but not yet legal guilt. Yes. Do you buy that? I don't find it enough. I believe it's a cop-out. The German record for the prosecution of war crimes has not been impressive. Of the just over 6,000 SS members who were alive at the end of the war, the number who have been prosecuted and convicted, Scott, is fewer than 50. Mark Phillips reporting for us tonight. Mark, thank you very much.